equipment and setup for PowerPoint polling. The purpose of using an add-in to integrate polling into your presentation is that you can run polls and show results without leaving slideshow mode. To run PowerPoint polls and display them to your audience, you will need a laptop, a projector or display screen, a cable to connect them. Setup is simple. Connect your laptop to the screen or projector and ensure you can see your display. On most devices, this is via a VGA or HDMI cable. Ensure you are connected to your VVox account. This is vital to allow your participants to connect to your meeting. Check you are comfortable with your presentation and that you have cleared all previous polling results. Then click here or hit the F5 key on your keyboard to start your slideshow and you're ready to go. Please note, Presenter View is not supported in VVox. That's it, presentation time. Simply press Enter or Advance to step through your presentation as you would normally. Polls are activated and closed in the same way as advancing through slides or animations. Prefer to roam the audience or pace the stage? A remote mouse is a great way of advancing slides and running polls remotely. That's it. All very straightforward. Whilst the setup we've just talked through suits many using PowerPoint polling, there may be times where a two laptop setup is more appropriate. Using two laptops has several advantages. It allows you to follow the presentation in slide sort of view so you can see your slide notes, manage any Q&A that may be running in parallel. This could also be done using an iPad or tablet. Finally, it's a backup laptop which can be switched to at a moment's notice if need be. Please note that VVox allows you to log in and connect to your meeting on more than one laptop or device simultaneously, providing you with the peace of mind that you could move to your backup machine and start running polls at a moment's notice. To show a second laptop to screen to display your Q&A board, for example, you will need a screen or projector with additional inputs, or to go through a switcher. We advise that you speak to your AV supplier or IT manager to discuss more advanced setups like this. That's it. PowerPoint polling made simple. Thirsty for more knowledge? Why not watch our top tips for PowerPoint polling pros? As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our friendly and experienced team.